It's another sheen hole because I have no self control. <laughs> Hello all you gorgeous guys and ghouls and all you spooky queens in between and uh, today, like the start, like the caption, we're doing a Sheehan haul so let's just get right into it. There's a whole heap of stuff, grab a snack, grab a drink, I got some tasty tropical juice and we'll get straight into it. I went in, I went in on this haul. Ugh. We got a big box of stuff yet again. And let's just get straight into it, shall we? Okay. So we're going to get accessories out of the way first because they're on top of the box. So I've got three hats and a belt. So first up, we've just got this standard black cap. But, oh baby. Like, let's hope it doesn't mess my... I am obsessed with this hat. Yeah. Next up we have a black bucket hat, which looks like this, but then again, it's got these ring things and like a giant, giant super huge safety pin. The brim feels really stiff, so I feel like I need to wash it and like distress it a little bit, but I love it. I feel like I should be at like a rave or something like <laughs> And then, because I can't help myself, I got another bucket hat. But this one has flames on it! Oh, yeah. Again, the brim is really stiff, so I need to like... Not do that. So I need to... uh get it so it's not as stiff but again <laughs> and then last in the accessories i just got a belt and on the picture this looked so much better than what it was um i'm just going to show you it doesn't look that great the fastenings and everything are different to what i thought it was going to be i'm still going to keep it i can still get wear out of it but so it's just this super chunky black belt um i do not like the heart buckle I think it's too girly it just it's a no from me um but i suppose it wouldn't look as bad like when it's on it's just got loads of eyelets all the way around it but then the thing that i bought this for on the model she's wearing it to like sit like on her waist like in her hip dips to um cinch in dresses and stuff and i was thinking with that fire print dress with the mesh overlay this would be really nice with it and it comes with these little side bits but the only problem is like let me show you on the front clasp it is a decent size like big clasp and it like it fits the gap between the leather and the eyelet but then on the other side it's only got like one of these fiddly farty ones and this doesn't fit in the space between the eyelet and the edge of the belt so, I mean, I don't know if I can probably try and change it or something, but it's a belt. Like, I can't show it any better. Let's go on to clothing. If you saw my first Shein haul, you will know how upset and bummed I was about these trousers not fitting me correctly. But uh, I got them again. So these are just like the parachute pants material. They have pockets. They have um, cargo pockets on the side. They have cuffed bottoms. They are this gorgeous two-tone print. So like one leg stripey, one leg's like this camel shade. I got these in a 2XL, which I believe is a size 20. Um, before I got them in the 1XL, which is the 18. And they, I could get them on, they fit me, but they didn't allow for movement, but I'm happy I've got them again. So we're trying something different with the voiceovers this time round. As you can see, they fit loads more better on me this time round. Um, the pockets, when my hands are in them, they don't bunch up or anything and they don't um, feel tight on my legs. Um, they've got really 
good room in the legs as you can see and the cuff at the bottom is really comfortable this is the back of them i just think they're so flattering and they're honestly amazing and i am obsessed with them would it be a chantal louise sheen haul if it didn't have checkerboard print i mean this is only my third one but it is like fluorescent neon green yellow it is just this super oversized black t-shirt plain black front and back and it's just got this neon green yellow um checkerboard print on the shoulder parts here i got this in a 3xl so this is a size 22 again this is meant to be oversized anyway but like i wanted it massive so you'll see what it looks like on in the trial clip okay so as you can see it's just a massive t-shirt i really like the fit and the length of this it covers my problem areas which i really like the uh, checkerboard parts at the top feel incredibly soft like i can't stop stroking them <laughs> they're just incredible oh yeah this next top i got in a size extra large which is a 16 and as soon as i saw it i've got an itchy eyeball as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. The font is going to be backwards. Again, my apologies, but it is just this ribbed um, tank top with this like death metal writing and skulls and it says eternal. And I am in love with this. I think this is gonna look so bomb with any and all the trousers that I have bought. So I like it a lot. Ooh, I am in love with this top. I love how it feels, I love the fit of it, I love the length of it. This is it from behind, it's just a plain black um, top and this is a close up. Again, I'm sorry that the font is the wrong way, but yeah, I like it. So this next top is a size large, which is a 12 to 14, I believe. Yeah, a size 12 to 14, but it's supposed to be massive. Like on the model, I think she's like wearing a size 10 and it is huge on her. So I was not worried about this at all. It is just a plain black top, but it's kind of got like a second layered shirt around the edges with this neon green. And it's on the collar, it's on the sleeves, and it's on the bottom hem as well. I held this up to myself and I could wear this as a dress. Like, I'm in love with this. I probably wouldn't wear it as a dress. Like I'd wear it with really short cycling shorts or something. But then the really weird thing is, it comes with this. I mean, I'm going to look stylish as hell when I go to Aldi to do my food shop in this bad boy, but why? Why? Oh, snap. This is so, so comfortable. I love the length of it. I love the fit of it. It, it doesn't bunch in, like, uncomfortable areas. Like, it's just baggy in all the right places. I love how I could cinch it in with a belt if I wanted to, but yeah, I'm in love with this one. And here I am, just acting like a goon because uh, I thought I was cool, clearly. <laughs> okay, again, another pair of trousers that I bought in my first Sheehan haul with the black cargo trousers with the checkerboard print pockets. I've opened this already and I found a mark scuffed on them because by the looks of this packaging, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of like melted, or, oh there you go look, yeah, it's kind of melted so I don't know what it is and it's it left a little scuff on the trousers. I've wiped it off and it seems to have stayed off so I mean I'm more than happy to keep them. But again, I'll show them for the reference. They're just the windbreaker trousers again with the checkerboard um, pockets. Do they have top pockets? They do have top pockets as well. The cuffed bottom comes with a super chunky buckle belt. You'll see it better on the try on clip, but I'll show you the scuff. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I mean, can you see? Oh God, it looks even worse on camera. It doesn't look, I mean, like, yeah, you can't see it as bad now, but like, can you see what I mean? How it's kind of, the fabric doesn't feel damaged. Like, I don't know, I don't really know what it is. I don't know if it has melted. It, it hasn't affected the fabric at all. 
but I mean I still really like them and I think once I chuck them in the wash it might hopefully come out I just kind of got a sponge on it earlier uh, I mean honestly I can't even be mad at the scuff like you can hardly see it so it's not an issue to me I really really love these trousers and I was heartbroken when they didn't fit me before <laughs> so I'm just happy that I can get them on this time um yeah they fit amazing this is them close up as you can see with the chunky belt it really does help tie it all together it doesn't bunch up when i put my hands in the pockets and because they're not elasticated they've got one of these flimsy zips which i'm not 100 percent keen on but it seems to withstand my aggressive heavy hands so i mean i'm not mad at that i do really really like them they are super comfy uh just fasten the belt back up again and then show you the back so they don't bunch up in places that you don't want them to. Like I just think they're beautiful and I'm going to get a hell of a lot of wear out of these. I like them. Forgot to mention the trousers that I got are in a 3XL, which is a size 22. Like I don't understand the sizing. But when I bought them the first time around, I couldn't get them past my knees. So God knows. And this next item is in a 2XL. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show it on camera because it's overalls, it's dungarees. But it is just this black, like, linen material. You can't even see it. With overalls. It's got, oh, I'll show you the bottom. It has a massive waistband, so I hope this is going to fit better than the, um, than the dress did in my last haul um it looks like it's gonna fit it it does look big and it does look slouchy it has pockets either side and it comes up at like a three-quarter length which i thought would be really cool and i just feel like it's a really light material so i feel like it's going to be really breathable and nice in the summer like i could see it teamed with some of them crop tops and things that i bought in previous hauls would look bomb with this so you'll see in the try on anyway i'm going to try and team it with bits that i've got in here maybe we shall see yeah so they fit perfectly they uh they're a really nice length i love the pockets the feel of them is really really comfortable they don't dig in at all the ankle length like they're ankle grazers so they are a really flattering length this is what the front panel looks like i just think it's so simple but so nice at the same time i like the gaping at the sides and this is just the back detailing with the crossover straps I just think that it's it's really, really cute. And same as I said, it's going to be really nice and breathable in the summer. And I like it. I forgot I got this. You know, I love me a co-ord set. So I got these. First of all, they're in a size extra large. So it's a size 18. Um, I'm just going to open whichever bag this is first. Oh, so this is the shorts. So they're cycling shorts. But look at them! Oh, how cool are they? They are dope. They are so, so sick. I am in love with them. And it comes with the oversized baggy t-shirt again. In the same print. La, 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 la. And honestly, this material feels so nice. Oh, oh okay. But these two together just slap so hard i am obsessed with these colors together i really really like them the leggings uh the cycling shorts fit really nicely just doing a weird little dance for you there <laughs> um the the leggings are a little bit see-through so that could be an issue but i mean when the top's down you can't see it so i don't think it's that bad i mean you can see full-on pants like they are see-through um but I don't know, I, th I think I might be able to get away with them, you know, like, even if it's just something to chuck on, you know, to wear around the house or the garden, like, I still really like it. This is apparently the haul of co-ords. I say that, I've only done one, but I'm pretty certain there's three in here. But the next one, I got in a size large, which is a 12 to 14, I believe, but... The flame one I got was in a large 12 to 14, and that fits because of the super elasticated waists and stuff. This one is fugly as hell, but I am obsessed with it. Are you ready? 
Oh my god. So it's the same style as the flame print um, one that I got in the first haul with the super baggy shorts. It's so ugly, but I love it so, so much. I am honestly obsessed with it. This one, I don't think I would wear as a two piece just because of how in your face it is. But like, this is the t-shirt. You'll see it better on the try on. I'm going to try it on together for the try on, but in real life, I don't think I would wear them together. I would probably team the top with just some plain black cycling shorts and I would probably team the shorts with a black crop top or something. Ugh, these baggy oversized co-ord sets. I need them in every colour, pattern, style, everything. They're so comfortable. As you can see, the top is super oversized. The shorts fit really nicely. They don't dig into my waist at all and I like the length that they come to on my leg. Um, this is it from behind. Again, I just, I'm obsessed with it. Do you know what? I think I might even wear these together just to be proper in your face. Um, the waistband is super elastic-y and really, really comfortable. They're not see-through at all. And I'm just in love again. I mean, is there any, is there ever going to be any hits or uh, misses? I don't know. Fluff it. Whilst we're on the co ord hype, we might as well get the next one out. This is a large again, so... I'm so bad at remembering the sizes. The large is a 12 to 14, I think. If not, it's a 16. But this is exactly the same, like the exact same style, the exact same fabric and everything as the flame print. Again, I'm sorry the font's going to be backwards, but it's just these black shorts and it says, rock and roll can never die in this gorgeous like yellow graffiti. And I am in love with them. I think they are sick. Like, I am so, so pleased with them. And again, the top is just super oversized with the rock and roll can never die on it. It's just, they're so comfortable to chuck on. Like, the flame print one that I have from the first haul, I wear it to death. I wear it all the time. It is genuinely so, so comfortable. And it looks like I've kind of made an effort when really I've just chucked essentially glorified pyjamas on but I can leave the house in them. Again, just totally feeling myself in these co-ords. Like, <laughs> I am in love with these two piece um, with the oversized shorts and baggy t-shirt. The waistband doesn't dig in. I love the leg length. They're just so, so comfortable. I want them in every single style possible. Again, with the stupid dancers, because, you know, I can't help myself. We got some more checker print. This is a 2XL, which is a size 18, I feel. It is just a super long top. I think the model on the website is wearing it as a dress, but it's got the fake sleeves again to make it look like you've got a stripy top on underneath. And I really liked how simple and checkerboard it was because I can't get enough of the stuff. And again, you get a super chunky belt to cinch you in. So you'll see on the try on clip how I wear this. We got another winner. I love this dress shirt thing. I love the length of it. I don't think it's too short. I mean, I for comfort reasons, I think I would probably team it with some shorts just to be on the safe side. So I'm not flashing any bum at anyone. I love that the collar is slightly oversized, so it sits nicely. Um, this is what it looks like without the belt. So, I mean, even with it just like this, I think it still looks really, really cute. I am in love with this dress top tea, tunic t-shirt thing. <laughs> hmm. So this next item I got in a size 2XL again, which is a size 18, I do believe. Um, on the website, they looked nicer. Now that they've arrived, they look more like smart trousers. And I don't know if I like the vibe of them as much. But they are very similar to the other trousers that I've got. They are just pinstriped trousers. They have pockets again. They've got the uh, the cargo pocket on the bottom. And they've got the cuffed things. I... I don't know. Like, I want to like them. I do want to like them. The fabric feels very, very nice as well. Like, it's not the parachute fabric. I just, I just don't know... I just don't know, like, I just feel like they look too dressy. But then I suppose 
I could wear them with the two-tone shirt that I got last time. Dress it up a little. I don't know. Do you know what? Now that I've got them on, I do actually really like them. They feel really nice on as well. Like, they're a really soft material. They're not the most amazing quality, but they're, they're not bad. They've got a nice elasticated waist that I feel like sucks me in a bit. The leg length, again, is really nice. I love the cuffed bottom on these trousers. I just think it's so much more flattering than an open cuff. Um, the behind, <laughs> my behind, looks good in them. <laughs> and I just really, really like them. Um, my only niggle is that it doesn't have belt loops. I would probably prefer this to have belt loops on it, but that's it. We went in with the trousers this time. Now that I've sussed the sizing out on Shein, because what it is, I'm going to break it down for you now. Shein sizes their clothing per item. Like they don't make a batch size range and then have that pattern for XYZ pairs of trousers. They have a sizing per trousers. So like the stripy ones that I've just shown you would be one size pattern. The black ones with the cargo pockets would be one size pattern. The two tone with the cargo pockets would be one pattern. Like... It's so confusing, like you can't just go on and be like, right, I'm a size 18, extra large, blah, 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 whatever. Click, click, click. You can't do it. That's what I did the first time round and you saw what a colossal fail that was. So I've gone in. This is a 2XL, which is a size 20. And these are to make up for the pyjama pant trousers. They don't feel like pyjamas, but they look like pyjamas. So have we got pockets? <gasps> yes oh god everything's winning so far with the pockets there is no um cargo pocket on the side uh they've got the cuffed bottoms they're not parachutey i don't know if you can tell like they're the shiny material but they're not parachutey like they're not the windbreaker fabric like the other ones so i feel like these would be less sticky and clingy on hot days than them do you know, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I think they're nice. And they come with like just this ribbon band for a belt and it has belt loops on it and stuff. I personally don't like this. I would team it with one of the chunky belts that I've got just because I just, it's just a ribbon. It's not even like a proper belt. It's just a ribbon. Okay, so I have teamed it with the ribbon belt thing. And do you know what? I'm not really that mad at them. I think it looks nicer on than it did with just like the ribbon loosely out of the packet. I really like the fit of these. They're not too tight on the leg. The cuff bottom, again, it's always going to be a winner for me. The pockets don't make it so it's like tight in areas you don't want it to be tight. It fits really nicely over my big bum. So that's a winner for me as well. Um... There's, there's so much room. Even with the ribbon on, it, do, it doesn't feel like it's tight. I mean, taking the ribbon off gives it so much more flexibility because it is an elasticated waist. So, I mean, I've got lots of stretch in these. I can eat all the pie I want and nobody can judge me because my trousers are still going to look fly as hell and I'm obsessed. Oh, yes. This next pair of trousers are dope. 2XL again, so a size 20. It's it's just gonna look like there's way too much. You'll see in a second. These are cuffed bottom, drawstring elasticated waist, jogger bottoms, but they're tie-dye. They've got pockets, deep pockets as well. And like the fabric, this these feel like the pajama pants again. I feel like there's way too much tie dye with the top and the trousers, but I am in love with this. These trousers are going to be incredible to wear. Do you know on days, I mean, I would wear these all the time anyway, but I feel like I would wear these on days when I just don't really give a crap. <laughs> I want to get dressed, but I don't want to really care. So I'd probably chuck this on with not this top, like one of my other baggy kind of tops and just be super chilled and super comfortable because they feel incredible. These pants, man, these, 
pants, trousers, joggers, whatever you want to call them, I am obsessed. They are so comfortable, it is unreal. The elasticated waist still fits like a dream. It doesn't dig in too much. I love how deep the pockets are. The length is fantastic. They don't feel tight in areas you don't want them to be tight in. They stretch perfectly over my butt, which is a winner again. <laughs> And I'm just, I really, really, really like them. Again, like, they don't dig in at all. They are, they sit really comfortably. And I can just get down with a comfy pair of joggers, you know? Next up, we've got another pair of cycling shorts. I cannot get enough of these cycling shorts at the moment. My basket is filled to the brim with them yet again. And I'm going to be placing that order very soon. So expect another haul soon. But these are in an extra large, so a size 16. Yes. But they've got suns and moons and like shooting stars and uh, I'm in love with them. These remind me of, did anybody when they were younger have, they were like a navy, like a deep navy blue curtains and bedspread with golden suns and moons on. I had them. I was obsessed with them. They were the best things ever. This is what this reminds me of. And when I saw them, I was like, yes, in my basket you go. I need you in my life. Uh, you've got to play it super careful with their cycling shorts. Um, I'm in love with them. I love the length of them. I love the fit of them. They're just goddamn see-through again. I mean, I wouldn't wear it with this short of a t-shirt anyway. I would wear it with a bigger oversized t-shirt. So it would cover my bum. So I think I could get away with it. But like, that's... You can just fully see my bum. Like, that's, that's not attractive. <laughs> it's not attractive at all. The uh, waistband doesn't dig in yet again, but it's just, look at how see-through they are. I think it's just the material. I'm a bit iffy about them, but I still really like them, so. Ooh, we got through this quite quickly, didn't we? I'm on to the last item. I saw these on the website. And do you remember how I said that I like ugly clothing? Just a... Uh, Hold on to your seats a minute, kids. I got these in a size 2XL, so a size 18 to 20. I cannot remember the sizes. I love them. They are hideous. They are so, so ugly. They've got the cuffed bottoms on the bottom. They are the windbreaker parachute pants material again they haven't got any pockets on them but i saw these and i was in love with them they are so so ugly but so incredible at the same time mate <laughs> oh i am in love with these trousers so many people are gonna hate them these are the marmite of trousers you either love or hate them and i am in love with them they fit in all the right places where they're supposed to. There's no hiking. There's no, like, tightness on the trousers. Again, with the cuffed bottom, I'm just obsessed. They've got a super elasticated waist again, so I can fill myself up with some beastie dinners. But I'm just living my best life in these. So, that's it. That was the haul. We got through that in record time. I think I'm getting better at this, you know. I just gotta learn how to uh, flip the camera. It's, it's scary because I can't see myself. Like, behind here is my bed. So I've got no way to put a mirror there to be able to see that I'm in focus and that the pictures... Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this, this works for me at the moment. I think I just need to stop getting items of clothing with print on. And then we'll be fine. You wouldn't be any wiser. So, that might be the route to go. If you like seeing these Sheehan hauls, I'm obsessed with the website. All you've got to do is like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, comment down below what you really liked, what you really hated. I'm pretty certain everyone's going to hate them last pair of trousers, but I'm obsessed with them. Let me know if these hauls have inspired you to go onto the website and purchase a few things. I've got, I've got, I've had a few friends tell me that I have and they hate me for it because their bank balance now hates them. And I'm, I'm not even mad. They have something for everyone. It's not just all like alt out there kind of vibes. They have pretty pastel floral pink <sighs> things. <laughs> They've got rainbow things. They've got 
God knows, they've got jeans, dresses, maternity, stuff for super skinny people, stuff for bigger people than me. I think they go up to a 24 or a 26. So like, that's a good size range. I think it starts at like size two or four and goes to 24 to 26. Like that's bomb. That's really good for an online realtor that's kind of mass produced fast fashion. Like that, that's good stretch. They do kids clothing. They do homeware. They do beauty supplies. They do anything and everything like you just you just gotta try just go download the app and have a look you get discount codes every single time you log on just about like it's it's incredible i love it but i'm cheap so that's probably why i love it i don't know i don't care and on that note i am going to shoot off remember to be kind to be the best possible version of yourself and have that reflect onto others. Remember, a smile can uplift anybody's mood. You could change somebody's complete frame of mind just by how you interact with them today. Do you want it to be a negative experience or do you want it to be a positive experience? And then that ripple effect off of them onto the next person, onto the next person. Like, why would you not want that? Why would you not want to do that? Why would you not want to put that into the world? Peace and love. I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye.